In today's tutorial, we're going to take someone and give them some tattoos. As far as finding the image of the person, you might look for um, someone with sleeves rolled up or look for t-shirt and find someone where you have some exposed areas to place a tattoo. So grab that image and open it up. Here's my starter. And so what I'm going to do is go up to file, go to place embedded and go find my skull tattoo and place it. Now you'll notice this image is transparent. If the image that you found still has a white background, you can refer to the other link tutorial that shows you how to remove a white background. You can work with color or black and white tattoo images. The black and white tend to blend a little bit better, but don't let that scare you off from working with color. Just enjoy it, right? Okay, so first move is I'm just going to resize this roughly down to the right size for this person's forearm and then we'll do a little command or control plus to zoom in remember when you hover the pointer outside of the resize box you'll see the curving arrow and you can rotate as well all right so i'll click on the check mark up on the top menu bar and there we're done no i'm kidding uh so this may be a new tool to you. Super interesting and fun tool in Photoshop is the warp tool. So we're on the skull layer. I'm going to go up to edit, go down to transform and choose warp. And let's command or control plus and zoom in even more. So the warp tool drops a grid on your image and I can take that and bend these corners in and then grab these handles and start to curve or warp in the image. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. You have to work with the image that you've got and the texture or shape of where you're warping. So it, this is one of those, like I always say, be patient with the process, right? Use your eye to best envision what is the curve of the surface that I'm warping this onto. A couple things about the warp tool that are cool. You can, you don't have to work just on the inside. You can also move into the center of the grid and warp that way as well so you can see i'm grabbing in i'll grab right on the nose of the skull see how i can move it around highly entertaining so you can play with this and warp it now what i'm going to do is actually extend mine and curve it a little bit beyond the bounds of the person's arm because I want to actually curve it around their arm. So bear with me for a moment while I do just that. The periodic beeping that you might hear is me missing the little handle on the warp tool. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, see if I can get any more accuracy there okay i'm going to stop there for now uh, you can keep fiddling with it if you want so i'm going to click the check mark up on the top menu bar and we're getting closer now i want to add a layer mask to the skull layer so i clicked on the layer mask tool in the bottom right hand corner below the layers panel and then i'm going to click on a brush and brush away where I want it to look like it's overlapping so that I'm revealing the person's skin behind it, right? 
like so and like so my brush is set at a hundred percent opacity okay so we're we're in the final stretches uh, a couple things i might suggest here if you are working with a color image then you definitely would want to add in a hue and saturation adjustment layer so there's my hue and saturation lever layer hold down the alt key and move the pointer down this is alter option until you see that little arrow this way it's only affecting the skull layer and then i would consider doing some desaturation if it is a color image because the ink is not always that vibrant and we want to be able to see the skin tone behind it i'm going to lighten this one up a little bit and again everybody's experience will differ it depends on the model you're working with and the tattoo image that you're working with all right so almost last step i'm going back to the skull layer and I want to lower the opacity. Let's go to somewhere around 70 as a starting point and see how that looks. And I'm going to control or command minus and zoom out. For a few minutes of work, I'm pretty happy with our image. You can always play with opacity and hue and saturation layer to refine it. Otherwise, Enjoy the process. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.